Did you know that there are many fields that comprise for an SAP consultant starting from a basic SAP consultant to the functional of an SAP consultant there are many fields which are interlinked with this wanting to know what are they well stay tuned till the end of this video and you would know how you can become an SAP consultant and as well as how you will be paid in India and in major other cities now Welcome back to Fresh Is Now channel and we have got you with another career related video of an SAP consultant and how they are being paid. Starting off with the definition part, you would be knowing what they are. An SAP consultant is somebody who would be planning and also delivering software solutions in order to create or meet the business needs. Now this SAP consultant would be working for an individual or a company. depending upon they have been given and also the SAP consultant period of time is going to be depending upon the duration of acceptance that the particular person or the client is have been taken up to. So this particular SAP consultant is going to be aware of systems, applications and products and also he or she will be expert in various software solutions to meet the needs of the client or the company. So this is what the major processing of work is going to be. Heading over we will now look into how they are being paid. We have taken on an average basis from the source pay scale. On an average basis in India, an SAP consultant is being paid 6,54,000 per annum. Really a good start off. With the right set of skills, you are going to land up even in a higher position as you are going to take up and handle all the customizations and implement them to the company or the client accordingly. In respect of that, this is how the career graph going to be. A professional life of an SAP consultant right from year 1 to year 20, the graph is showing a leap height of increase and also the increment of the pay as well. This graph is showing you by pay by experience which means over the years you can see that there is an immense growth that an SAP consultant would be having in India and as well we would now be heading over to the location wise pay scales. How each location is paying their SAP consultants. Starting off with the first place which is Bangalore, a marketplace for many national and international companies which has 7,40,000 per annum for an SAP consultant. An SAP consultant is much needed because the computer installations of a particular software or the particular device is being only taken care of SAP consultant. It may be to a less duration of time. But this person is going to make much more effectiveness in that company or towards the client that he or she is working to. The next place is Pune. With an equivalent to another city, Pune also is in the mere market of 6,71,000 per annum. Next, Mumbai. Again, having a quite of equal balance which is 6,27,000 per annum. And Hyderabad, all over the south, a good marketplace for opportunities and also the right place for making your networks this place is going to pay their SOP consultants around 6 lakhs 20 thousand per annum now the next place is Noida which we all keep hearing and also we all know that established place in India which is paying 6 lakhs per annum to SAP consultants. Moving forward, we would now know how companies are paying SAP consultants. As I have said, this person also is a quite an essential role in each and every company. So, why losing this effective person who would be working for the benefit of the company? So, the first company that we are going to see is Infosys, which we all keep hearing about and the dream of many aspirants to land there. If you are looking forward to land as an SAP consultant in Infosys, you can consider yourself that you can be paid 8,97,000 per annum if you are having the right set of skills and specializations. And next, it's in TCS, 6,50,000 again equivalent to all of the major other cities we have just covered Accenture 6,28,000 in balance with all the other cities again and next we have moved to the skills part in order to equip all of this you need to have the right set of skills now to understand all of these skills part 
first thing that you need to be aware of is the SAP modules that you have to be covering. As I've said that SAP consultants would be moving from basic to the functional level. It can be covering up operations, it can be covering up finance, healthcare, education, etc. Anything which can be under the networking section and also the exposure of networking, the interlinks between all of this needs a consultant. So in that note, you should also be aware of what are the different modules and patterns the frameworks which are being implemented time to time for the upliftment and also the productive outlook of a particular company or the client which has to be taken care of an SAP consultant. So with that note, consider these skills and let's get move forward. So as an SAP consultant, you should be making sure that you are well aware of business planning because everything is related to planning and implementation so you need to well be well versed in how you are planning reporting documenting and then implementing it as well as right after you implement you should also make a note for yourself that how you are reporting all of them on to a particular document sap controlling business objects cloud computing java sap netweaver project management, SAP logistics, execution systems and SAP Hybrix. So all of these are considered to be the major skill components that you have to be inculcating. Now how you can begin with all of these skills? One personal tip that I can give you is starting off with SAP training programs. These training programs or open source projects these will be going to be helpful for you in the long run because these two sections are going to equally give you certifications it will give you that training period which is essential for you to implement these skills as well as you would be able to know what are the loopholes that you can catch in order to make your work much more productive so these are the two ways that you can implement yourself so personally just telling you all that you can Try out many ways, but these are the two ways which can be much more productive. And next is how does or what does this person do? So as you have understood the definition part, the definition part is much more different in what the actual work is. So these consultants would be analyzing, designing, implementing, configuring the new computer software systems in accordance with their employers or the client's specifications. Meeting the needs of the users or meeting the needs of the clients is going to be the prioritized task that SAP consultants should be eventually fulfilling as well as they write programs such as forms, specifications and as well as interfaces. So they would be working up with a particular software implications as well as they would be knowing as to how they would be evolving the work and meeting fulfilling the needs of the company or the ratio of the client that they are working to as I've already mentioned SAP consultants if they are landing in a company then it is going to be on a long run you can also take up on an individual basis individual basis is going to take only for a single period of time the duration of time depends upon the client's needs or the client's work that you will be taking up for the next thing that we are looking at is how you can become one if you are interested into getting into all of these components or all of the different sections of sap consultants or if you want to land up in any of the uh, SAP consultant sector you can consider these steps or these uh, notes that you can note down and implement them in the future so first is having current knowledge of SAP systems deployment and also integration as I have said all of this comes into the SAP modules part all the modules plus patterns or all the trends that which we are evolving with needs to be understood and as well as implemented by an SAP consultant. Experience in roles such as consultant or functional consultant. So I have said basic to the functional consultant. You can take up any of the sector or if you are well versed in it. Starting from a junior consultant level. Even junior SAP consultants would be having the hands on experience on various other domain roles. So you should be understanding various other uh, sectors that you are taking your niche into.
specialization in finance project management business administration and anything which is related to that particular field will be taking on on a profit level basis or will be advantageous to your career path so in that note you can understand what are the job roles which are associated with that assessing existing it infrastructure and also you would be recommending improvements you would be understanding where needs to uh, that particular work needs to have a cut and then a further improvement for it developing and configuring customized sap solutions because eventually you, you will be understanding the evolution of the sap modules implementing those modules and the latest trends would obviously give a solution or it will always open up a new way to that particular network that you are working in troubleshooting and resolving all the issues to optimize your performance and bring a productivity to the particular network and these are the some of the things that you can note down for or if you are willing to become an sap consultant or if you want to elevate your career in sap consultant if you are a junior sap consultant consider all of these skills which i have just told you and level up for a senior positions and if you are willing to know more about other roles and other job careers stay tuned for more videos like this only at precious now channel by consider subscribing and thank you for watching